Hello everyone, thanks for joining, thank you, and uh, welcome to this week's DAO discussion class. And we have got a very important topic. <laughs> So should we look for Sifu Bro or? Oh yeah, hello Sifu! Hello! Haha! Say hi to everyone! Kia ora! Kia ora! Kia ora! Kia ora! Welcome back Kate! Ah, okay. So, uh, I wanted to do a quick, quick class about the, I don't know, say quick, I don't know how long it'll take. But, um, yeah, any, any time you like. Any time. So, I just wanted to talk about the urgency of receiving the down. Time? Oh, can you tell me? Yes, it's it's can you Hi, James. Hello. So, um, we'll be so here to tomorrow. KMT. KMT. <laughs> so, uh, we, I wanted to talk about the urgency of receiving DAO, uh, because it's actually quite an important topic. Um, I've been spending time with a lot of cancer patients recently, and uh, a lot of the conversations that we have are uh, around one particular topic. Uh, can anyone guess what the topic is about? Uh, uh, does it start kidding? with D? No. <laughs> oh. no, no, no. See, dude, what do you think a lot of cancer patients would talk about? There's so many moths in here or whatever they are. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Uh, the weather? No. Okay. They, I'll give you a hint. It starts with K. We talk about it a lot. <laughs> Karma. Oh, karma. 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 A majority of my patients oh. talk about karma. Oh. And why are they talking about karma? Because they feel at the moment that their cancer is caused by negative karma. Mm. Okay? So we understand that these sorts of uh, conditions are in our life, such as karma or uh, physical ailments. Uh, can be as a result of negative karma and it's the retribution for that. So the uh, what we class as debt collectors are coming to claim our karma back. And a lot of them are worried about the karma because they feel like they should have done something earlier. Oh. And they probably didn't realize the urgency of, um, of their karma. So, um, oh, hi, Nicole is saying hi to Alex. Oh, hello, Nicole, hello. Yeah. Um, so, when we're talking about the, uh, what I mean by urgency is a lot of people in nowadays are more interested in, um, like, the buy now, pay later, right? And they're not interested, so they're just interested in getting what's important now. So, we, we always see that, especially at Christmas time, lots of people put uh, things on their credit cards, they want to get all the Christmas presents, uh, but they will end up paying for it later on and will most likely end up paying for it in extra interest and those sorts of things. So this is why uh, it's important to make sure that we're doing good deeds and we're taking uh, the right steps to make sure that we're minimizing the negative karma that we're earning. So basically we're putting money into the bank account and we're not using our karma credit card or using uh, or making any um, uh, making any negative karma because uh, the problem with karma is you never know when the actual repayment will need to be made. It's not as straightforward as a bank in saying that you must be it's fifty five days karmic debt free, um, so you don't know when the retribution will come. And I had a lot of people tell me that they believe that their karma is either the, the cause of their cancers, uh, sometimes caused either by the karma in their present life or in their previous lives. So I find that that is something that uh, is uh, a, common, uh, a common topic and a common uh, theme oh, thanks, uh, amongst uh, Cancer suffers amongst all different types of cultures and also uh, different beliefs as well. So this is uh, this is something I think everyone can agree upon, and everyone understands and knows what it is. 
So this is where I want to kind of segue into talking about why the why is it uh, why is there an urgency of receiving Tao? And as Tao cultivators, it's really important for us to um, educate other people about the urgency of receiving Tao. And we know that according to uh, if, you, if we have a look at the timeline, and we know that we are in the White Yang era. Uh, this is the final uh, era for us, um, and the Heavenly Mother is given us through, um, given us the ability to receive Tao in a very uh, convenient manner. Whereas in the previous eras, we we know that it was very complicated for us to receive Tao, or people would have to go on great pilgrimages to seek out a master who could actually uh, transmit that Tao to them. So this is why um, we can educate other people uh, that we know, our friends and our families, into uh, understanding the importance of receiving Tao. One of the importances of receiving Tao is uh, related to karma and the fact that it allows us to, um, allows the Jikong Buddha to help negotiate our karmic um, retribution. So, it's essentially allowing us to be a step forward as long as we are continuing to cultivate um, and uh, continuing to practice Tao, then uh, it allows us to just kind of stay one step ahead. So this is something that's really important. Um, you know, the other, uh, I guess the other uh, urgencies of receiving Tao is the fact that we don't want to be constantly in uh, samsara, and I always tell the kids' class about samsara. Uh, I think it's samsara like that. Um, so, with samsara is the constant birth and death recycle, so very, very uh, simple. And we don't want to be born into the six realms of reincarnation. Uh, so, we've gone through, I think, the six realms of reincarnation before, but I can just quickly uh, put them down on what they are. So we talk about the first one is the Arhat realm. Yep. The next one after the Arhat realm is the uh, is it heavenly realm. Or was it? Um, There's one called Asura. Asura, Asura. Asura. That's it. Yeah. Asura. And um, what's the As humans. Uh, Oh, human, yeah, sorry, human, yeah, now I've got it, human, uh, animal, yeah, hungry, hungry just, just the hellish and underworld. Uh, we'll just call it, yeah, the under, uh, underworld realms. Yeah. So there are the three positive, um, Three pathways. positive, positive. What's the path? Three, yeah, three pathways. Yeah. And what's the other three separate? So there's three good pathways. And three, yeah, three positive and three negative path pathways. Uh, so the positive ones are human. Uh, what's the Arhat and Asura? No. Yeah. 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 Arhat and Asura. Yeah. And then the three negatives are the animal, hungry ghost, and the underworld realms. So by receiving down. It allows us to essentially with these to bypass these these realms and prevent us from having to constantly go in a circle. Um, ah, these bugs are getting me. Um, we are getting attacked by moths. Um, these moths must want to receive that. Um, <laughs> they're trying to reincarnate out of their animal realm. Um, so yeah, this is why it's really important as well. The urgency is to allow us to, as I said before, get out of samsara and uh, transgress that and go into uh, the what we call the, you know, heaven of ultimate, oh, it's such a long name. Yeah. The ultimate truth. So being able to by bypass those realms, it allows us to go into the heaven of ultimate truth. Um, so this is one of the goals of, of receiving doubt. Now, um, this is 
why we sort of want to um, educate people, I guess, in the agency of that is so, um, once again, I'm just going to reiterate again that the uh, trying to prevent the accumulation of negative karma and trying to repay that negative karma that we already have allows us to prevent those uh, unfortunate circumstances of, uh, you know, we can use the terms cancer or accidents or those sorts of things from occurring to us. Um, so that's that's why it's very important to kind of stay ahead of the... Uh, if, because at the same time, we are always uh, accumulating negative karma, that that will occur. Uh, just sometimes we don't realise it. Sometimes we can accidentally maybe step on an ant and we're not aware of it. Um, so that can be negative karma. So we are actually uh, accumulating it, but we just need to make sure that we're ahead of it. But the other thing I need to reiterate is well, it's more important to do it now than when you're 91 on a deathbed going, I should have received Tao, I should have learned about Tao, um, rather when it's better to do it when you're young and you're fit and you can practice and cultivate it properly. Yeah, so this is why I just want to talk about this one briefly today. Um, so for, for your... Um like patients, mm. <clears throat> like what sort of um, illness, um, majority of them, like what type of cancer stage? Like oh, okay, so it varies in, in stages. So some of them are uh, breast cancer. Today I had a lady that has liver cancer. Uh, and it, first of all, it started off as breast cancer, then metastasized, then went into her liver, and now has spread from her liver into her sternum. So it's gradually spreading. Um, I have other patients that have lung cancer, uh, colon cancer, all sorts of different. It's very, very. Um, it's a big spread, mm. I would say. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. and obviously these aren't um, like genetic um, derived cases, are they? Or no. Uh, sometimes they are involved in lifestyle factors. So maybe a patient with lung cancer has smoked for a large period, portion of their life. Mm -hmm. um, or some of them, it just comes out of the blue. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my patients was telling me today that her sister, and so, so she got breast cancer, and then her sister got diagnosed the day after with colon cancer. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and they were like, different like 10 years apart. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's... it's uh, it affects a lot of people, um, but it's interesting when people, I guess, when people have that situation, they become very positive on their outlook on life, but they always reflect on karma, I've noticed. That, that is a conversation that I've had, that, and I haven't brought it up with them, mm -hmm. but they always talk to me about karma. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. so, and what is their views of, um, like, <coughs> what are their views of, Paying back the karmic debt. Uh, so they don't understand the concept of repaying karma, but they are more so in the mindset of I've accumulated the karma. I shouldn't have accumulated it in the first place. So they're they're kind of feeling down but remorseful that they need to uh, change their ways. I guess. So so okay. Oh, thank you. Just try to. Get my head around that, like the yeah. the vision of um, karma is like that. You you mentioned the like, it's like the credit card, the credit card. But but yeah. as in, say if you um, go to a bank, you have to walk into a bank to apply for credit. So how mm. do they think of attracting karma in the first place? They didn't think of it. Okay. See, you know, with lots of people, they'll just apply for a credit card without the. You know how, like for example, you get a home loan. And then you get Premier Advantage package, yeah. and it comes with the. Uh, so sorry for everyone that is like confused. What Kenny and I are talking about at the moment? We're talking like Westpac terms when we used to work in the bank. So, so bro, like you know how like they get Premier Advantage package, and then they get uh, I can't believe I can remember all this stuff. <laughs> but they get free credit card. Yeah. So it's just like they've got the free credit card already, and then they just start to use it. Okay. And then uh, when they start to use it, they just start to accumulate the karma. So the so think of like their 
bad habits like the smoking, drinking, mm. um, those sorts of things as spending money on the credit card. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I'm trying to get at. That's it. And, yeah. and they're aware of that, obviously. Yeah, and they're aware that they're doing these things, mm. right? So they know it's bad for them, yeah. right? They know that this is attracting bad karma. Yeah. But they're not thinking about the paying, paying it off. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they only think about it when... Uh, so they're in a situation where the bank is coming to repossess the house. Mm. Is the same situation that they're in with cancer oh, or illness yes. or accident or whatever bad thing may happen in their life. Um, mm. Yeah, because I was thinking if they have this concept of karma, mm. in, in my understanding, mm. they would be the most uh, positive advocate mm. of trying to educate other people not starting bad karma or Correct. not, not yes. doing other bad things Mm, mm, mm. yeah yeah that's right so this is this is why i I was so surprised Mm. uh to just have conversations with people just yeah yeah Mm. so um uh yeah so in in the hospital like it's one of the i guess quickest way for us to learn is a trip to the hospital Mm, mm. in many many like um Things we cannot explain. After a trip to the hospital, you can explain it all. Mm-hmm. Many things you can't let go. A trip to the hospital after that, you won't really bother with the yeah. grudge and all these uh, <coughs> like unconditional love and feelings. Uh, after a trip to the hospital, then you really understood what they really meant. I think, mm-hmm. yeah, maybe we can try and see what else we can do to help these yeah. patients as well yeah. and helping I, them have this understanding that uh, yes that is it is what has happened mm-hmm. but don't give up don't sit there and let their karmic collectors get, get no up. yeah that's the thing is and that's <laughs> the other wonderful thing about it is that they are aware of that but they're rising above it mm-hmm. and they understand that because as you just said bro like if they dwell upon it and they become stressed and then worried it actually affects their illness even more yeah. because it gives the karmic creditors ability to take more karma. Yeah. So you know, we need to prevent that. Mm-hmm. So um, the best way to, like uh, you even said to me years ago, is the best way to cure yourself is actually to do things for other people. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so this is why I think it's wonderful. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, just having a chat to them. Yeah, that's mm. good. Is any of them like keen about the kind of a diet, a plant-based diet? Uh, Are they... um, yeah, I can't really go into that too much for them mm. because I, I'm not permitted to talk about make recommendations. Yeah, or, of course. Yeah, yeah so more. But uh, that would be a good idea for them. But um, yeah, I can't. I can't get that far. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I just thought like yeah. logically, if you want to repay then the mm. quickest way is not attract new debt new debt yeah. that's right yeah cancel the credit card and pay it off yeah 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 so, that's right so if they seem to have a good understanding of mm-hmm. karma they ought to realize that all the life forms that died for us mm. also is a needs to needs to deal with that yeah. debt as well that's right yeah so yeah um I think that's that's pretty good at the moment. Yeah, yeah so we're all cool. happy with that. <laughs> See if you do have anything, anything you want to add. No. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And and I think with a lot of the um like patients, yeah, uh, all the things that is in a positive mindset, they have to keep doing it even though they may not see a result straight away. No, I a think, lot of them have been doing it for like eighteen months more. Uh, or more. Yep. Yeah, I had one patient the other day. He's been trying to fight his cancer yep. for almost ten years. Oh, I I couldn't believe when he said ten years. Ten years. But he said he'd been in and out of hospital for ten years. Oh, yeah. So it's crazy. But um, that's just my experience with that recently. Um, yeah. but yeah. yeah uh, because if, if we can, yeah, do as much as um we can to support them. Like mm. spiritually, yeah. yeah, that that is a very big big thing. Like even chanting sutra is one definite um, 
good good way as well because our uh, as you may say you know, human efforts sometimes are limited and buddhas know all the things so we can only let buddha be the one deciding what's best for them mm. yeah but if we can drop these hints these guiding uh, guiding signages yeah and then hopefully they can yeah get closer and closer to the truth so uh, oh, another thing I wanted to ask for is yes. uh, possibly the, the discussing whether or not, um, like for example, I, I explained about the scenario about James's brother, but whether or not we can bring it up uh, during the conversation. And we we also knew about uh, you know, uh, Sifu um, Dave's mm-hmm. um, grandson. Yes. Yeah. Whether or not these are things that we can. Uh, talk about so that other people are aware of them and maybe if they have an opportunity during their prayers or uh, their worship time at home whether or not they'd like to to do anything i don't know what we can do that or yeah i'll just basically start with whoever yeah. we can talk to on yeah. a personal level yeah that's yeah because yeah. even in our day, daily worship mm. um 100 bows that's mm. for yeah the contribute to better world peace and oh, so it covers everything so, doesn't it yeah uh, but but we also, also like at the end mm. of the ritual we also do that extra hundred bows yeah. sometimes in other temples yeah. they do like a thousand some do three thousand like the taiwan elderly uh cultivators they actually do the three thousand mm. yeah like as in the actual bows is all to dedicate to whoever mm. was most urgent that they come across Oh. So yeah, if if we can definitely um, chant the Mila Buddha Sutra, mm-hmm. um, if we can chant at least say seven to ten times each session mm-hmm. without interruption, that will definitely send a very big help to those um, in need. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. that's why um, yeah, if if we look at it, um, sometimes it's not. That Buddhists are not merciful, but sometimes Buddha also have to respect the fact that a debt is a debt, mm. and the karmic uh, creditors also have a right to collect oh, their debt. But it's just like you were saying before, like mm. the Buddha can help negotiate sometimes mm-hmm. and things like that. So yeah, yeah not not to complicate <laughs> complicate the situation mm. and not not to like discard all the medical professions. Um, great work sometimes we just realize that uh, there's two aspects two level one is the material level mm. the other is like the the energy level so mm-hmm. say say for example the medicine that we take yes there's a chemical power to that but also there's also an energy power to that as well so um uh, in some other classes here the master was saying like um what we see is the in the operation theater, the doctors are doing all they can to save the patient or operate on the patient. But what they could not see sometimes was, it was told afterwards that their karmic um, creditors are also in the operation theater, or also by the bedside, like trying to disrupt the process. So that's why things that you can see is, um, like, for example, a operation, like a, a surgery, things can go wrong. So it's nothing to do with the profession of the doctor, like they are maybe the best, best doctors they are. Like the medical team could be the very, very best, <clears throat> but still there may be interruptions or distractions caused by the karmic creditors so that the operation was not successful. Mm. So that's why, yeah. So um, like if, if, if there's ever a person who went through the operation, of course the first thing, First thing they need to thank, if they make it out of the operation theatre, is thank the medical team, but also be able to have this appreciativeness for uh, whoever's in the background, helping him or her get through that stage. Yeah, so maybe it was Buddhas helping negotiate, or it may be other Tao relatives um, mm-hmm. chanting the sutra to give back to the creditor so that they back off that yeah, strangling moment. So. All these things actually do play a part. So, and and it's quite actually, um, yeah, it's quite true to the fact. Even on the uh, the the road, on the road, sometimes you see 
uh, accidents that could not even imagine it happening. So in Hong Kong, one uh, one of the uh, more memorable accident was before there was a, I think that was 1995, it's quite, quite long ago, but that was the only time that um, that particular highway had an accident where a rock sort of um, rolled down the, the cliff. It was on a fine day and it just rolled down the, the cliff uh, off, off the side of the highway. And it, what happened was the, all the lanes all have cars, but the rock just bounced off and struck the one in the middle lane and hit the particular car and flattened it at a particular moment in time, which like the, the mathematical chances or the statistical chance of that, uh, that happens on purpose was so slim that, yeah, even the coroners have to, have to say, yeah, force majeure cannot even explain. Mm. So like, yeah, it's, it's just really hard to, yeah, explain why certain things happen at a normal, like, and with our naked eyes, we can't see a lot of things, but we've got to appreciate that there is a energy working in the background as well. And mm. what we can do is trying to uh, uh, cooperate or align with the good energy. So that way we always protect it. That's why um, we say once we receive the doubt, we have guardian forces to help us, not to help us um, be safe and be happy, but it's to help us spread the good to others. That way the guardian forces can help us do more. The happiness and our safety is like a byproduct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in, in Taiwan as well, I think only 2016, I think the the news was there was a, a tour bus carrying the a tour group from the mainland. They already finished their seven day trip of the Taiwan Island. They were back on the bus heading to Terminal 2 at Taoyuan. They were literally two minutes from the terminal, but the bus like uh, caught fire. And somehow 26, all of those um, passengers, 26 of them, like, did not make it out of that fire on the, on the bus. Yeah, there was a, um, yeah, uh, there was a, I think some temple did have a, a channeling session. Some Buddha did say it was karmic related. So yeah, a lot of the times when it involves a lot of, um, things that is unexplainable like, or things that doesn't really happen on a day-to-day -day thing, then there must be some karmic uh, relationships in mm. the background. Yeah. So, so for the cancer patients, like we can help them as much as we can from the mindset, from the thoughts. Like if we can help them remove the anger, then that helps repair the liver. Mm. If we help them like reduce their, say, thoughts of uh, confrontation or the thoughts of overpowering others, mm. then that could also help them with uh, lungs. Mm. Like say, like in the five elements, mm. yeah, like um, like all the like angry or all the fire, all the all the ferocious feeling is because of an imbalanced liver. Like all the um, like greed or all the things you want to take, all these things is all from like the cardiac imbalance so mm -hmm. yeah sometimes yeah um if, if we can just help as much as we can to drop these hints without crossing the, the medical barrier yeah that way we can yeah help help as much as we can yeah but even even from spending time with them listening to them mm -hmm. understanding that's already very beautiful and mm -hmm. and then we can try yeah uh, advise them like outside of their professional um, medical program, we can see what we can suggest them to change on the habitual habitual status. Mm. Yeah. So like, I mean, those um, people who want to make a vow to be a vegetarian, those are the most powerful uh, ways to recover. Yeah. The vows are the only um, dependable thing that the creditors can rely on because our words are worthless. Yeah, like we we say we are good, but who knows tomorrow? Um, who, who knows about whether we will break our promises or not? But if it is like a vow, the vow is stronger than a, a promise. Yeah, if we can help them 
like make a vow that it doesn't have to necessarily be like kneeling in front of Buddha at the altar. It could even just be when they are the most truthful to themselves, to the Buddha within. Like that is at the same as making a strong vow in front of Buddha. But we are saying more fortunately, we not only we make the vow in front of our Buddha inside, as well as kneeling in front of the Buddha on the altar, but if we can write the vow that is submitted to heaven, then even all the all the records are there for us. If we ever feel a little bit slack, at least there are lots more support for us to get us back on the right path. So that's why the the vows uh, should be submitted to heaven through the through the ceremony uh, the on the heavenly form. Mm. Yeah, because if if we say we make a vow uh, on our own, yes, that's already very very powerful. But um, as uh, Uncle Ben would say, with great powers come great responsibility. So with great vows also come great test. Yeah, uh, sometimes we might not realize the the significance of the test, and the test sometimes actually sets us back another semester. Yeah, so we can help them understand karma as a test that they can excel in, and if they can pass the test that's no longer affecting them, then they should become the tutors for other people to help other people excel their test. And that's how we can spread the love and kindness to have more people not affected by so many yeah, negative impacts. Yeah, I think it's very, very powerful to share that. Yeah, Alex is just, oh, cool. Thanks for yeah, thank you. It's just that yeah, we don't get to, um, I guess in, in our in our daily lives, we don't get to get to always have a moment to think about the unfortunate things that could happen. So yeah, um, and we just keep taking things for for granted, eh? Yeah. So, but do you think? Yeah. Well, what sort you of think? Not very often. <laughs> no, <laughs> not very often. Um, yeah, it's we wait, we wait. Yeah, like a, a lot of the. The uh, wisdom words goes like um, prevention is the best course. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so I think, yeah, definitely we can help towards the prevention side because we obviously not not from a medical professional side we can't contribute much to the course, but we can help as much on the prevention preventive side. Yeah. Uh, maybe next time we do get a chance to enroll and we can help out yeah. at the hospital. Yeah, and maybe Nicole can tell us as well if PA has anything we can help with. Yeah, and yeah, Nicole and Julia at the PA they also see a lot of um, yeah emotional episodes like incidents all the time. I'm sure. Mm. Yeah, so a lot of the the things of the. Uh, the modern contemporary society is like, yeah, um, we have a lot of technology or um, material abundance, but we also have a lot of deficiencies in terms of the emotional deficiencies or uh, relationship deficiencies to a point that um, we've got to bring back the love, bring back the, the cooperating. Yeah, it's a good idea. Bring back the love. Love. <laughs> yeah. Like the unconditional Wu Wei love. That's your most original love. Yeah, that's the the context that Jigong Buddha always raise, yeah, about our original self. Yeah. It is when you love others even to a point you forgot you exist. That is the true, true love. Yeah. I'm sure Sifu is also going through a certain stage at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, very nice. Yeah. Some people are easier to love than others. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you got some scummy, thieving drug addict, they're not easy to love. <laughs> well, they also have a Buddha within, so we just they may well do. Uh, activate, need to activate the, that. Buddha side as well, yeah. But their mind just wires onto the next fix. 
And they just thinking about how to rob you. Because yeah, like all those um, we talk about the karma, like all all the time. Maybe those people in certain situation, they can't help themselves purely because of all the hindrances, like the ones dragging them backwards. Even they are trying to swim forward, but the tides uh, keep pushing them back. So I think that's why yeah, we're very fortunate that like we we are above the water, so to speak. We are not getting all the waves drowning us. Yeah, if yeah. we can stay stay close to the conscience, stay close to the Buddha's teaching, stay close to the cultivating community, yeah. like stay close to the Buddha's words, then we definitely have a lot of support. We have a lot of yeah, strong outcomes all from everyone pulling pulling our weight. Mm. That is why we very appreciative. Yeah, to always have a good chat and mm. have a good interaction. But we are just bouncing off ideas. We're just learning from everyone's yeah, journey. So, and that's the exact reason we have the human uh, uh, the pathway. Yeah, humans live together. We live in a concerted uh, behavior, all purely for us to learn that we are one unity. With this one unity, we can overcome all the problems. Yeah, like the material constraints is only uh, a, a trigger for us to realize we are not alone. Uh, bro, can you yes. turn some things uh, of this just into like sure. a, a question and answer thing? Oh, yeah. Can you answer this for me? Uh, just a variety of sure, sure. So, can you tell me mm -hmm. what these are? Uh, I think it's. Uh, oh, that's an M, and then the other one is. Was he gardening yesterday? Yes. Yeah, just a... Oh, don't worry, I did the return of it. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know what those two are? I know the top one. That's oh, well, top Vietnamese. One is Vietnamese. Yeah. 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 And this one's Korean. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, so <laughs> literally. That's the yes. hanja for Okay, okay, yep. Yeah. Cool, cool. So, can you tell me how yeah. those two relate to Ikonda? Okay, okay. Sorry, I've always wanted to know this. So okay. Like, uh, yeah. Ask Kenny the questions. <laughs> oh. The top one was thousand for cows. It's cow thousand. Yes. <laughs> oh, like, um, well, well, yeah. We'll move Shanti. It's like this. God, it's a cow. Sorry, continue. Oh, no, 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 it's good, it's good, yeah. Um, these are very, very good um, religions as well, where they teach like how to be a positive cultivator already mm. about the inside. So mm. uh, they must have been stem from <laughs> stem from the original uh, lineage, mm. but just a geographic, uh, yeah, uh. geographic constraints that they lost touch with the original lineage. So mm -hmm. so that's why uh, as time moved on, they uh, also branch out to become like a religion rather than the Tao's teaching. Yeah. Like um, in, in I, I read of the first one, yeah, they also uh, worship the same uh, deities we worship as well. Yeah. So they also have very similar uh, universal systems as well. So they try um, to promote these um, uh, the good good conscience as well. Our our biggest gift is the three treasures. Our biggest um, I think differentiating aspect is that we realize the God particle or the God quality is within. We don't have to seek externally we don't have to go out of our way to find the truth we are so blessed that we get a chance to be shown the truth how it is on us already mm. so that's why the the difference is yes they must have uh, through the through the um course of progression uh must originate from a similar uh, teaching 
point. Even the, so, even the flag or logo is like the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so, so what, what we're trying to say is um, the uh, we are just following the 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 lineage where the Buddha already uh, says the sixty four patriarchs. We're mm. just following the patriarchs lineage because they are the ones with the heavenly mandate to uh, share the three treasures. Yep. Any other, uh, for example, for example, um, you, you can have a, um, uh, you can have an Apple licensed retailer, right? But it's not quite an Apple store. Yeah. Apple reseller. Apple reseller. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Allow me to use. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. yeah. So, so yes, you, yes, you are a uh, Apple mm -hmm. reseller, but your, um, your business as an Apple reseller uh, may not be always, uh, how can I put it, it may not be always validated. Mm. Like if you're the Apple store your, your, yourself, you can open as many Apple store you like and you keep doing what you do. Mm. But if you're an Apple reseller, you always have to uh, touch base with your Apple distributor yeah. you know, to get the product to get the authority or the authentication mm. so as soon as they lost that authority or authentication then they are no longer an authorized Apple reseller mm. so they may still be selling Apple products one way or another but they don't carry the same uh, original intention of that Apple store mm. format so, so I think that's sometimes in religion where due to different uh, geographical or time movements that maybe it used to from the same uh, entity some branched out or some sort of uh, this uh, disembark mm -hmm. yeah I think on that journey so and then from that on which rolled into another uh, set of themselves so that's where these sort of happen oh, okay. so I think yeah in even in uh, I would I would presume even in the Christendom that is the original uh, format there's no Catholic Church there's no um, Christianity Church as well there was just one sort of Coptic Christians Coptic Christians, oh, Coptic Christians. They were number one Okay. Uh -huh. okay. I'll, yeah. I'll have to look it up. Yeah. 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 So. So yeah. So, so, so I, I say like. Yeah, say, yeah, say the <laughs> so. It's true. Yeah. yeah. What, so. what year did the Mormons and stuff? Eighteen hundreds. <laughs> okay. So yeah. So 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 yeah. In, in that token. In that token. Yeah. So Jesus was say. Uh, yeah. The first year, uh, in the year of our Lord. So there are different. Um, like Lutheranism or Anglican or Protestant or um, yeah, all these names there we can put to Adventists and all them. They they are still following yes, largely the same teachings from the Bible. So, but the difference is whether they uh, yeah, that they are the ones who teaching the exact hundred percent of the teachings Jesus taught. Yeah, so so that's my sort of interpretation to answer Yay. that. Yay! So, Thanks, yeah. Kenny. That's yeah, cool, I, right? I don't think it 100% satisfies the, the, the Well, discussion. no, I saw a temple, uh, I saw a temple today, actually, when I was down at, um, mm -hmm. in near Nala. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I was driving <laughs> back to the city. And, uh, yeah, it's a cow Taoism one. Yeah, that's right. So the V... I yeah, yeah. So, and then we must aware, be aware that um, all the different religions that was uh, established by from from heavenly uh, uh, insights. So they are all hopefully one day letting those people be reconnected back to the heavenly truth. Mm. So that heavenly truth, we're not saying it must be in an Ikuan Dao context. We're just saying that whoever carries the three treasures propagation would most likely be the heavenly uh, selected method like saying that yeah the three treasures the one that can help us realize the <laughs> internal buddha and and i'll be attacked, attacked by bugs <laughs> bugs yeah <laughs> that's okay <laughs> that's okay yeah. 
Ah, so <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, like like. So you got bug lights land on you again, and then you are well, gently put you outside. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, like like as in we we're very very fortunate that like we we say the Tao uh, is does not need a form. Like the Tao has no form. The Tao needs no form. But we still fortunately have some sort of form to. Uh, give for those who need the form to be reassured of the truth. So like say if we mm. pass away we have a soft body, that is our sort of our form to prove that the three treasures is that genuine three treasures. So that's why yeah, if we stick to the three treasures, then we know that yeah, and we stick with a traceable lineage to the patriarchs, then we would know that this was the the heavenly mandated yeah, lineage. Yeah, that way we can be sure of our outcome. Yeah. And eventually all the different religions, like like we were saying before, like the, the fingers, all these fingers are all originate from the power of the wrist. The wrist is what gives these fingers uh, motion. So eventually what they learn from different religions will all funnel back to the heavenly truth. Maybe in the future it may not be called Ikon Dao. Maybe in the future it may have a different name, but that's to prove that the name is still not the Tao. It is the Tao that is always the same. The essence that is always the same. The name or the form or the style doesn't matter, but all of these name and forms and style shouldn't deviate from the original purpose. So the main thing is there may well be already other temples who are do, doing the same rituals as us even some you can google i guess the three treasures are online maybe but no one can guarantee your soft body when you pass away because no one can dare to prove something that if they are improv imposters that they are improving Im improv then they don't have the authentication. Mm. Yeah, so no one dares to risk other people's lives. Yeah. I think it's stupid if anyone dares, but I know it because I've seen it online, but uh, I think people who put it online are just stupid mm. because, like, it's just like, oh, it's giving me all the bad karma. <laughs> but um, um, yeah, yeah, I really hope they like rename it like Super Fun Happy Tao. <laughs> that would be really cool. Yeah, like I just just was Nicole saying before, like on on her comment, like there some some patients, like of course, true to their treatments or mm. the or the way that they're going through their procedure, they might not be able to um, to have much wriggle room to do other uh, remedy or other habits changing methods. So yeah. so that's why a lot of the times we are. Uh, um, when we say like trains is a good example, a train must have the set tracks. And so if you got onto the wrong track, then sometimes you're still the same train, like as in you're still like a, a locomotive that powers you. But if you're on the wrong track, then whatever effort you put in actually will deviate from where you need to be. So, yes. yeah, so, so as in you, you may still be a very diligent um, cultivator in a different religion, but if that religion does not uh, bring back people to the three treasures, like to the inner Buddha inside, and then revealing that Buddha from within to spread out this Buddha um, teaching, mm. then, then yeah, that is still a charitable work rather than a, a spiritual work. It's still a great achievement. All charitable works are still great, mm. great work. Yeah, but we are saying that why Ikon Dao, we don't say we dwell in too much charitable work is because there's already enough um, effort on all fronts towards charitable thing. What this world now lacks, lacking in was that spiritual um, transformation side of things. Mm. Yeah, the, the spiritual transformations of things could eventually solve a lot of the karmic problems or the charitable uh, problems. Yeah, like say for example, um, like we, we say 
there are already Red Cross or Salvation Army already operating for more than half a century, isn't it? Mm. So why are we still seeing so many horrible, like, suffering stories from certain places or different communities or continents? So, so, so that's all because we realize the root has not been cured yet. The cause is still happening on a day-to-day -day basis. Those may be living in a comfortable country, but because of their abuse of their resources,